plane from Asura has just landed. I hope we still have a deal. Yes. You are going to pay me extra 100,000 Naira. Come on, Frankie. I thought we settled that 200,000 Naira, which I've already given to you. Unless you want your friend to go back to jail here. Oh, Frankie, you know he has finished serving his jail term there in Europe for the offense he committed. Look, that may be so, but the Drug Law Enforcement Agency are still interested in this case. And you know that. Frankie, please help us out, please. Serving in jail for five years. I wouldn't like him to continue again, please. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want my boss to see us here. Now drive down the road and wait for me there. I'll come with your friend, okay? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Someone from jail. Oh, yeah, Come on. <laughs> hey, you guys have to leave here at once before security operatives begins to ask questions, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you, officer. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, guys. Get into this right, man. Eh? You're welcome home. <laughs> Given the short notice. Thank you. Thank you. Considering the issue at hand, it has become important to call to your attention our proposed deal with GMV. We will no longer go ahead with it as planned. And the committed fund must be retrieved. Yeah. But ma, GMV holds more prospects for us on this deal. GMV is a falling tree, a disaster waiting to happen. But madam, the retired general Abubakar promised us... The retired general is the reason why we are withdrawing. I have hints that he's going to be picked up by the EFCC. That is just a mere propaganda to turn our minds off this lucrative deal. We have invested $900,000 for this deal. And if Abubakar is indicted, we will lose everything. So I suggest that we put that money in Union Homes Estate. I disagree, madam. This is a conspiracy. And I know who is behind this. You are far from the truth, Mr. Robert. I brought the GMV deal. And now, somebody here wants to take it over to Union Homes so that my commission will be his? This will not happen. I assure you, Mr. Robert, that that is not the truth. I have worked for your father for over I 10 years now. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Robert, I am not about to entertain a history lesson at this point in time. The reason why you are here is you work for me and not my father. I say we are not going ahead with this deal, and that is final. That will be all from me, as I leave you all to work out the modalities for this official class. Good day, everyone. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Oh, not quite. Good so. Oh, boy. I'm tired. You look a bit strained. Mom, I'm just coming from the construction site. I had to source some materials, and I also had a meeting with the management committee, so I'm totally knackered. What is it, Mom? Elena, you don't belong here. I mean, this is not the place for you. What you need is a fine young man who will marry you and make you the mother of his children, my grandchildren. Mama, I made a promise to Dad on his deathbed. Oh, I... stop that, Elena, please. Your father has done all the work and made all the money. We don't need any more money. All we need is happiness. I know where this is going. Miss Stanley and I are still together. No, you're not. You have kicked Stanley to the side, just to focus attention on this company. Just in case you don't know, young lady, there is a height a woman attains in the corporate world and a man who gets scared of her. Well, that's their problem. As for me, everything is fine. <sighs> yes, everything is fine. But my only problem is you. Me? How can I be a problem? Elena, you are too young and fragile for this. I know you love your father so much. And you decided to keep his office just because it reminds you of him. But you know what? Even if he were alive today, he would have told you the very same thing. Mom, the project is going to be completed in six months. Stanley and I will get married afterwards. Six months? Six months is too long. Twice. Twice you have postponed the wedding pending the, the completion of your father's housing project. Twice! Mama, I'm the only son and daughter that daddy has. I have to finish that project. Adina. Stanley's people love me like a sister. His mother was with me when I had you through surgery. And so I know she loves you just as much as I do. Stanley is a nice man. And he is all that your father would have ever wanted in a son. You said he loves you, don't you? Yes, Mama. And I love him too. So you see, there's nothing to worry about. What will be will certainly be, Mom. Mm -hmm. I love you, Mommy. I love you too. Okay. Are well, you looking smashing today? Oh, thank you, my love. <laughs> I went to have lunch with an old friend of mine. And I know I have spent the whole day out, but I really feel good. <laughs> no? Oh, my God. Everything, everything that I want for you. I have everything worked out. I don't know how I let those guys get me into jail. Come on, Max. That shouldn't bother you anymore. All you should be thinking about now is how to start life afresh. Okay? You can't get me a new passport back to Europe. be serious. What are you rushing back to Europe to do so soon? Come on. You can establish here. Establish? Establish with what? You need money to establish and I'm dead broke. <sighs> okay. Can you help me sell my house? 
That bungalow is the only thing you have left. Besides, you still have tenants in there. No, I don't care about the tenants. Just, just sell it, man. Sell it at a good price. I need the money, Daniel. You know, maybe I can establish an import export business using some contacts I have in Europe. Okay, I'll I'll see what I can do. But in the meantime, you just have to relax, okay? Free your mind, drive around town and then you get refreshed. Right? Drive around town. Drive around town with what? Come on, Max, my car is there. You can always make use of it. Okay? Maxwell, Federpoli. Oh my God, Maxwell! Is that you? Come yes, here. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I thought you were in Europe. Yes, I was in Europe. I actually just came back. Oh, welcome back. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> look at you. You look good. I do, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you've really changed. I have? Yes. Then how come you recognize me if I've changed? Well, from behind, you look like some very beautiful girl. I feel like that close as so it was you. It's me. <laughs> hey, how have you been? I've been okay. Uh, it's just that I, I lost my dad. Oh, sad. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. <laughs> so, where are you? What, what are you doing? What are you up to? Well, you can say I'm back for good, trying to set up some business here. Oh, that's cool. Let me give you my card then, so okay. we can be in contact, you know? All contact right. is very important. <laughs> there you are. Ah, okay. So please, let's hook up, huh? <laughs> I'll definitely give you a call. Alright then. Maybe you can show me around sometime. Exactly, I wouldn't mind. Okay. Alright then, you take All care. Right then. You too, Bye. take care. <laughs> been out for long. Yeah. Have you made any arrangements about the house? 
Yes, but I'm taking my time. You know these agents. Once they realize you're in a hurry to sell off your property, they'll be offering you peanuts. No, I ain't taking peanuts, man. I need a good deal on that house. Max, why don't you come over to my house and stay and wasting money here in a hotel? Come on, Dan. You know my style. I don't like charity, man. That reminds me. Um, do you know this company? I think they're into real estate. Max, this is one of the richest construction and estate management companies here in the country. Where did you get this card from? An old friend. The owner of this company was a former petroleum minister, though he's dead now. Wait, wait. You mean Elena's father was a minister in this country? No, 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 no. I don't know about Elena. All I know is that the owner of this company was a minister. <laughs> I've been out of this country for too long. Yeah, maybe she can help us sell the house. No, 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 no. Don't even talk about that. This company does not buy or sell single bungalows. Okay? It's peanuts to them. This company constructs, buy and sell estates. The last estate they sold publicly contained 80 twin duplexes here in Abuja. You don't say. She might be an old friend of yours. But if this Elena you're talking about is the daughter of this late chief and Bono, I tell you what, Mas, she's one of the richest single girls in this part of the world. You know that address, right? I need to get there. Yeah, no problem. I'll take you there anytime you're ready. Okay. You know what? Have your card. I actually run a partnership with a pharmaceutical company in Europe. Okay. Hmm. But I thought you studied marketing or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I actually handle the marketing aspect of the partnership. Hmm. Is it any drug I've heard about? Um, well, maybe not. I don't think so because for now we only operate in South Africa. Why don't you try the Nigerian market? Well, we're looking into that. You know, that's actually why I'm back home. I'm conducting some feasibility survey. Well. Going by my experience, I would say our business climate is quite frustrating and competitive. Ah, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed. Well, I'm sure we'll find a way around it. Of course, of course. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, so what do you think? You think we could have lunch sometime? <laughs> I actually feel like a client sitting here. I understand. Uh, perhaps one of these days? Okay, then. I'll take you on that. Okay, you hold me to it. Okay. <laughs> Look, Elena, it was really nice seeing you it's again. It's nice seeing you again, Maxwell. Oh, okay. Take good care of yourself. You too. Peace. Have a nice day. So far, it's 15 million. Should I go ahead and sell? Sell it. Max, your mind is not here. What is it? Nothing. Um, 
Just thinking. Come on, Max. Your nightmares are over. You have a new life in front of you. You don't need anything to worry about. It's Elena I'm thinking about. You know, my mind has just been roving around her all day. You're thinking of dating her? I'm thinking of marrying her. Say what? Marrying her? Is this a daydream or just a joke? Why did you say that? You just came back from prison in Europe. You've not established anything yet and you're thinking about marrying Elena. Knowing her social class. Oh, come on, Max. Daniel, have you seen what that girl is sitting on? What? Do you know what she's sitting on? And she's an only child. I mean, whoever marries her gets everything. And you think you own everything the family has by just marrying her? If I marry her, I become the family. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll let that pass, okay? But the question is, did she tell you she's in desperate search of a husband? Because for me, I don't think so. Look, a girl like Elena can never be desperate for a husband. Now, since you are not Prince Charming or the God of Marriage, how do you get her to say, I do? By wooing her, of course. I need to woo her. You know, I need to draw her into the sweetness of relationships. I need to put a plan in motion to win her over. <sighs> Honestly, Max, I think I'm going to have difficulties in understanding you on this issue. Look, Daniel, don't worry yourself about that, okay? Just sell the house. I need the cash. Get yourself a drink, man. Okay. More of this, I guess. Whatever you want. Okay.
I need your help right away. Tell me, what's going on? Man, you remember that guy I told you about? The one that betrayed me and set me up. You mean the one that made you go to jail in Europe? That's right. Guess what? What? I just saw him now. You can't be serious, man. It couldn't be him. Come on, look at you. I know Kelvin. I just saw Kelvin now. But he told me he's a Ghanaian. Well, he apparently lied about his identity. Are you I saw that fool now. I saw that fool spending my money. My hard-earned money. When I got to jail. Max, are you sure about this? Man, absolutely. I know this guy like the back of my palms, man. I know this guy. I saw him. He's at the hotel right now. So, what do you want to do now? There are a million things I can think about. It's time for him to meet his nemesis. Okay then, just hang up for me, okay? Are you sure he's in this hotel? Yeah, I'm definitely sure. I trailed him to this place. And so, what do we do? I think we should go in there. No problem. Wait, 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 wait. That's it. That's it. Still alive. Ever heard of the resurrection? Let's 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 get into the car. Let's 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 get into the car. Get in the car. Mm. Let's go. to be executed while you, my most trusted friend, ran away with my money. Max, they were looking for me as well. I could have come for you and you know it. But the cops, the cops were after me. The cops were after you? 
The cops were after you when it was you who gave me up to them. The moment I was arrested, you took off with Mama and you came back to this country. Carry yourself around like some big boy, yeah? Telling people that I was dead. Maxi dead? Do I look dead to you? Do I look dead? Do I look dead? It was a lesson. It was a lesson. It was not a lesson's idea. I swear, Max. It was a lesson. He planned it all, I swear. I swear. I trusted you, Chloe. I took you to Munich. Handed over my business to you. What did you do? Huh? You turn around and poison me. Yeah, you know what this is. Hey, Max. Max. Max, you're my jam manager. You know? Max. I've got some poison for you. seen you for quite some time and it's not funny as if we don't talk on the phone oh come on that's not the same thing as seeing you you're not always in the office even when you're there you're there in this meeting or the other meeting come on why are you talking as if i've omitted you out of my life oh that's exactly how i feel and i know i'm right ah Elena. i thought i heard someone driving how good afternoon you? man good afternoon good good Mm, you're certainly putting on some weight. <laughs> on the contrary, my mom actually thinks I've lost so much weight. Shucks. How is she? She's fine and she sends her greetings. Mm. Well, Elena, are you two going to stand out here all day or are you going to come in and do justice to my lunch? You know what? You're just in time for lunch. Come on. As long as it's from mom, mm. I ain't got no choice. <laughs> Turn out of the window. 
I didn't know men were that interested in losing weight. <laughs> Don't mind them. Once they start and they start thinking of other serious issues, mm. they forget all about it. By the way, how did Senegal go? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh. Senegal? What's in Senegal? Mm-hmm. There's this um, friend of mine who just uh, opened up a petrochemical factory and wants me to help him get a connection on how to lift um, byproducts from NNPC. Oh, but uh, Senegal, you don't know how to speak any French, do you? No, I'm not going to leave there, even though I know how to speak a little of French. Mm-hmm. Like, come say, come, come sa. Sa. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Mom, mm. um, I'm going to have to go later on with Stanley to see his mom because I promised that I'd help her out. Oh, okay. Well, make sure you give her my love, right? Yeah, I will do. Okay. After you have finished your food. Of course, Mother. <laughs> mom, hmm? please, you must teach Elena the recipe for this sumptuous meal. And what makes you think I don't know how to cook it? Well, until you cook for me, Right now, the only person who knows how to do it, it's mom. Makes me feel good, but you have to finish your food. Mm. Mm. You ready? Baby. What's up with you? I'm good. Alright. Are you set? Yeah, almost. (laughs) Okay. Baby. I've been thinking. Thinking what? You know, having our wedding on your mother's birthday will certainly be an honor. But that's two months from now. Sure, I know. I have some weddings planned on as you keep it under one month. Do you have to pressurize me about this issue again? Alina, it's not that. It's just that each moment that passes by, I feel... I get scared that perhaps you could just wake her up. That what? That I may just go off you or something? Come on, Stanley. I like you as a person. And I know in my heart that I'm going to grow to love you as a husband. But this is just... Perhaps you work too much. It's more than work to me. It's protecting my father's legacy. Baby, come on. See... You can always do that, even while we are married. Stanley, I made a choice. And that choice is you. Right now, I need you to prove to me that you're going to understand me as your wife-to-be. Of course I do, completely. But it's just that... I don't know. You know what? You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Sure. Of course I'm sure. <laughs> All right, I think so. Look, we better get a move on or else your mom's going to freak out. And we don't want that, do we? All right, let's go. You know what your problem is? Worry too damn much. Like what I'm doing? Of course, you look great. Nice and white too. So, what do you say? Maximum, this is too much. That's all this. Tell me, Maxwell, how much did all this cost you? Well, the rent alone is a million per annum. A million per annum? Come on, Maxwell, why spend that kind of money? I'm sowing a seed, Daniel. A seed? What seed? I thought we agreed you rent a two bedroom flat and then use the rest of the money for your business. You don't understand that. Look, there's no way that I'm going to let Adina see me in a two bedroom flat. I need to impress her, man. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's all about Elena. Don't it? worry. I know what I'm doing. You see, a lion only respects a fellow lion. So I need to prove to Elena that I am a lion like her, not a lion. Does it really matter? Believe me, it does. It does. Come on, relax. You see, Maxi is back on track. Okay? <laughs> Look, let me officially welcome you to my house. Oh, uh, Brandy? Yeah, I don't mind. Oh, okay. You relax. Take care. I still got loads of stuff to run past. All the drinks are back in there. <laughs> Wow, I'm sure they're from Stanley. You didn't say who they're from. Really? Well, that's okay. You may go now. Thank you. Hmm. Flowers and a card from Maxwell. Thank you. 
Yes, I am actually. I'm on my lunch break. Ooh, perfect timing then. For? Well, I was worried you might not have time to have lunch with me. By the way, thank you so much for the cards and the flowers. I think that was very sweet of you. You like them? Mm-hmm. Okay, you prove that by having lunch with me, by the way. Uh, my time is quite constrained at the moment. You know, I've got lots of errands to run and stuff, you know. Oh, this is me, okay? Not some job seeker or a client. 30 minutes, one hour tops. Mm. You have nothing to lose. Okay, I'll squeeze you in somehow. Come on, let's go. That's so sweet of you. I know just the place to take you. of um, quality wine will open up the appetite. <laughs> I'm sure you know that I do drive and I don't find alcohol an appetite enhancer. Come on, it's just wine. So, let's see. You've taken out time to wine me and dine me. You even threw in a romantic gift. Which woman gave you permission to flirt like this? Flirt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not flirting with you, Elena. Really? And if you must know, I have no woman in my life. Why is that? Women don't find you attractive? I don't know. But I'm not going to sit around and wait for some woman to find me attractive. Oh, so you blow your own horn? No. More like seeking my soulmate and never letting go. Hmm. You know, since the day I saw you at the supermarket, I found it very difficult to take my mind off you. Why would your thoughts be on me? You hardly even know me. I love you, Elena. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maxwell, but it can't work. 
why you think I'm some kind of playboy? Oh, on the contrary. It's just that I'm engaged to someone else. Look, Alina, all I'm asking for is a chance, okay? Just give me a chance to prove to you that I am the best man for you. <laughs> we would have already been married, if not for the untimely death of my dad, which put everything on hold. You see? That's what I'm saying. That was destiny asking you to hold on for me. Maxwell, don't be sad, okay? I'm sure you would find someone that's equally suitable for you. It's you I want, Alina. Maxwell, it can't work. That's it. I'm really sorry. I hope we can still be friends. Okay, just... Just tell me you think about it. You know what? I need to be back at the office. So, uh, could we get moving? Shall we? Not right now, but she's within the premises. Would you like to wait? Yeah, I'll wait okay. for her. Okay, the door is open. Have you been here long? Who's this? Elena, who was the man? Excuse me? Do not pretend like you don't know. So Elena, you have another man in your life. Is this some kind of joke or what? No, you tell me. Tell me who's this new man that has been, has been, has been sending you flowers and cards. So this is the reason why you are spending our wedding. I'm not having an affair with Maxwell, if that's what you think. I see. His name is Maxwell. Now tell me, what are you doing with him? Just a fling? How dare you, Stanley? Well, I don't think I have the time to sit down here and discuss this issue with you. It's your life. You take all the decisions. 
But don't forget that someone else is taking all the punches. just have to relax and refocus. See, there's no how a girl like Elena would not have someone in her life. You know that Max does not run away from a fight. See, what I wouldn't want you to do is to waste your precious time, emotion and the little resources you have. I'm not giving up Elena. You know, that chick is a gold mine. I'm not going to run away just because some fool has managed to skim his way into her heart. And, um, supposing she continues to say no? Well, you know, Max does not take no for an answer. Especially not from a girl like Elena. But I'm not bothered about her, you know. It's the man I'm bothered about. I need to know that man. I need to know that man who's turning her brain around. You know? I need to get him out of the picture. Uh, wait a minute. You mean getting him out of the picture for real? Yeah. At all cost. You know? At all cost. Look, Daniel. Have you ever sat down? to imagine the amount of dough that chick is sitting on. Have you ever thought about it? Do you know what I can do with that amount of money? Come on, man. Look, this is the fastest way for Max to get back to Max. All right? This is just a game, man. I'm not going to sit around and let that fool outsmart me. You know what I'm saying? I need to marry that girl. <laughs> wait, 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 Max. Take it or you leave it. This is home and not Europe. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. This is home. I need to win at home. You know, it's understandable if you lose an away match. I have lost all my away matches. I can't come back home and lose. What do I tell the supporters club? Oh, think about it, man. Come on, Max. What is wrong with you? No, no, no. You think about it, Daniel. If I come home and I tell you that after losing all that, I come and lose at home. <laughs> you, say, you know what? I never thought of that. Oh, no way, man. What do you want? What you're thinking and feeling, but everything is not what it seems. Elena, I could hardly get you to have lunch with me because of your beauty scholar in the office. But there you were, having lunch with another man, sending you cats, flowers. I'm not having an affair with him, okay? He's an old friend that I've not seen in a long while. I was on my way to lunch at the time. The flowers, the cat, what are they for? He proposed to me, but I said no, because of you. Oh, really? Really. Darling, you've shown me nothing but patience and support and understanding, even during my most trying times. You're a part of me. How could you even think that I would hurt you? Elena, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. The only one I think and dream of. I can't stop imagining a beautiful home, just you and I, with our kids, happy together. So romantic of 
you. Elena, my life isn't complete without you. It would be a resounding nightmare should things turn otherwise. Please, do not let anybody come between us. And just called. Oh, you know what? I'm on my lunch break now, so tell the secretary that she should schedule another appointment for 10 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, okay, ma. All right, thank Thanks. You. Yeah. It was the lunch time, so I decided to catch up with you. Maxwell, you know you shouldn't be here. Look, Elena, all I have towards you are good intentions. I know that, Maxwell. But it's too late now. My wedding has been rescheduled closer. Maxwell, meet Stanley, my fiancé. Hi, Maxwell. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah, Elena told me you're an old friend. I'm sure she has invited you to our wedding. Please do endeavor to come. It will be my pleasure to host you. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll try and be there. Good. Honey, change of plans. An aunt of mine just came into town, and um, she's been dying to see you. So I arranged for lunch at my place. How about that? Sounds good. All right. Max, it will be fine to keep my aunt waiting. So, shall we? Sure. All right. Well, Max. Now, see, see you some other time, okay?
are coming. Hey, Celeste. Are you aware Maxwell is in the country? Maxwell? Yeah, I think I've seen him around. Did you warn Kevin about him? Why should I? Are you insane? Maxwell of all people is in the country and you couldn't even want Kevin or I. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought you said you were friends way back in Europe. You fool. Kevin is dead. Dead man. Poisoned with his hands. What are you talking about? Kevin, dead? Stop it. Just stop it. Kevin is not dead. It can't be! I went to his hotel. He was not there. I searched everywhere. But to no avail. It was later that the police announced his death on the television. Are you, are you insinuating that Maxwell killed him? Let's say it's something you don't have to know. Since you don't know. But I want to know where I can find Maxwell now. I don't know. I don't know much about him. I searched for a friend of his, Daniel. Where can I find his, Daniel? Um, Scotland Avenue. Number 66, Scotland Avenue, Zone 7. Right. So listen. So listen, don't do anything rash. Job for you. Sure. We have a job for you. You meet my friend Max. Yeah, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. So all the details that you need are in there. You just make sure you deliver a good job. Okay. <coughs> no problem. My fee is five hundred thousand dollars. Maybe I deliver. I would like to live with my man. It's all right. Uh, Daniel already has some upfront for you. The moment you deliver, you get your balance. 
Okay. Sure. Yeah, sure. Are you okay with that? We don't have any problem. Your money is sure. Okay. And consider it done. So I'll be waiting to hear from you. My mom just called me. She said she's coming into town, you know, so I was thinking, oh, why don't I just park the car in your compound while I leave for Potaka and then you pick her from the airport. Oh, that's all right. Go ahead. Actually, there's a slim pretty girl I joined him while he was leaving. So there's nothing I could do. Because oh. I feel sorry for her. Oh my god, I hope it was not Elena. Oh. No, please tell me. Where are the bodies right now? At the accident scene along the airport road. There was no way I could stop her. Look, I had a job to do. So? I had a job to do. Oh my god. Uh, my, my, my money? What about my money? I. I hope Maxwell doesn't do anything. I'm talking about my money. 
Cletus. You messed up a job and you're asking me about your money. Are you out of your mind? My money. Don't you ever tell me anything about money. Danny, my money.
Hello? Margaret, is Ali not there in the office? No, she wasn't at the airport. Is she in any meeting you're aware of? I see. Please, when she calls you, ask her to give me a call, okay? Um, her phone is not going through. It's not reachable. Okay. Thank you. Yes? Come in. Can I help you? I guess Elena lives here. Yes, she does. But she's not at home at the moment. Yes, I know. Uh, you must be the mother. Yes, I am. Um, <clears throat> I'm afraid there's a problem. What problem? Elena was involved in an accident. Elena? My own daughter? Where is she? She's at the hospital. Oh my god. Oh my god. I is she alright? Um, doctor says she'll be fine. God. Please, take me to her immediately, please. She suffered a great hit on the head and that left her unconscious. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. How long will she be like this? Uh, well, I'm not too sure for now, but um, the most important thing is to allow her to rest. You see, you should be thanking God that she survived. Accidents such as she was involved in are usually very fatal. It's okay. Uh, let's go to my office so that we can talk. Oh, my baby. It's okay, huh? It's all right. It's okay. Alina. Alina. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Actually, on my way to the airport, when I noticed there was a car in the ditch, and then I pulled over, hoping to find some uh, survivors. On getting there, I saw there was a man and a woman. The woman was still breathing, but the man, the man was lying very still. Mm -hmm. yes. So, and then there was no one else around to help. So, I carried the woman and put her in my car, and then I brought her to this place. Any idea who the man was? Uh, when our team got to the crash site, the man was already dead. Oh. We later found out from his driving license that his name is um, Stanley Madden. Oh my God, no! Not, not Stanley! You know him? Oh God, no! Oh no! Stanley was her fiance. They were supposed to get married a month away from today. Sorry about that, madam. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Oh. Pull yourself together, all right? 
You see, your daughter needs all the strength and support she can get from you right now to recover very quickly. Huh? So be strong. It's okay. Oh my God. It's okay. It's okay. Oh no. What a waste. It's okay. It's okay. saving my daughter's life. If you hadn't come when you did, perhaps we'd have been telling a different story by now. Well, I'll just say it is the will of God. Where is she? She's, she's still like that. No change. Will she be all right? I'm sure she'll be all right. Madam, your daughter needs all the rest she can get at this moment without any form of disturbance. I'm so worried, Doctor. I'm, I'm worried. She hasn't moved an eyelid. Not even a word. She will when the time comes. Meanwhile, the results of the brain scan we had yesterday is out. And, um, there is something I would like to discuss with you. But that would be in my office. Is that right? Can we go now? Yeah. As a result of the impact of the accident on your daughter's head, she suffered amnesia. Now, whether it's going to be temporary or permanent. Uh, we cannot determine for now. Um, I'm not sure I understand, Doctor. It simply means that when your daughter wakes up, she's going to suffer great memory loss. She will hardly remember anything. Her name, who she is, what happened, or even who you are. Who I am? Uh, yes. Dr. Okay. Me, her entire memory has been wiped out. Um, wiped out is not the right word. I would rather say it's a temporary loss of memory which she will recover from later. Yes. Uh, doctor, we can remind her about her past or anything she may have forgotten. Oh, uh, no. Is it trying to wake up her memory will only uh, cause the brain to react violently, trying to catch up. Oh my God. Yes. In the process, it may cause a serious brain damage, which may either lead to insanity or serious brain hemorrhage capable of taking one's life. Oh my God. Elena is all I have, Doctor. I can't lose her or have her wrong mad. I'd rather kill myself. No, no, no you wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's why it's important that um, the necessary things is done. But are things like what? Uh, no one should try to remind her of the past or even bring anything close to her that will remind her of the past. In fact, when your daughter wakes up, the best thing to do is to um, take her to a new place or even a new city. There she will start a new life, grow a new memory, that will strengthen her brain until such a time when she's medically sound to be able to retrace her past. A new place in a new city? Oh yes. As a matter of fact, it will go a long way to protect your daughter's life as well as to heal her quickly. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. You what? Uh, we cannot determine for now. Um. I'm not sure I understand, Doctor. It simply means that when your daughter wakes up, she's going to suffer great memory loss. 
She will hardly remember anything. Her name, who she is, what happened, or even who you are. Who I am? Yes. Dr. Lin, her entire memory has been wiped out. Um, wiped out is not the right word. I would rather say it's a temporary loss of memory which she will recover from later. Yes. Uh, doctor, we can remind her about her past or anything she may have forgotten. Oh, no. Is it trying to wake up her memory will only uh, cause the brain to react violently, trying to catch up. Oh, my God. Yes. In the process, it may cause a serious brain damage, which may either lead to insanity or serious brain hemorrhage capable of taking one's life. Oh, my God. Elena is all I have, Doctor. I can't lose her or have her run mad. I'd rather kill myself. No, no, no you wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's when it's important that um, the necessary things is done. Important things like what? Uh, no one should try to remind her of the past or even bring anything close to her that will remind her of the past. In fact, when your daughter wakes up, the best thing to do is to um, take her to a new place or even a new city. There she will start a new life, grow a new memory that will strengthen her brain until such a time when she's medically sound to be able to retrace her past. A new place in a new city? Oh yes. As a matter of fact, it will go a long way to protect your daughter's life as well as to heal her quickly. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Sweetheart, my love, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Elena, Elena, can you hear me? How do you feel? Hmm? Elena, can you hear me? Can you hear me? She may have heard you, but she can't make out who you are. But doctor, her eyes were opening. She must have seen me. Yes, she may have seen you. But like I told you before, she has lost her memory. You see, we need not pressurize her. Hmm? Elena, my love, my sweetheart. It's all right, she'll come around. The doctor says you will soon be fine. I will soon be able to take you home. Hmm? Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. That fool that you sent to me almost killed the girl. But he never knew she was part of your scheme. Well, he should have called to say there was a new development. Yeah, that's how these things are done. He's lucky though. Because at the end of the day, it's all working to my advantage. Advantage? Yeah. Uh, how do you mean? Yeah, well, because of the knock that Elena suffered on her head. Doctor says she might have um, a memory loss for some time. But you told me yesterday she was coming to. Yeah, yeah. She could come out of her coma, but she won't be able to remember a damn thing from her past. Not even her own name. Really? For how long? Well, time is unspecified. Could be days, weeks, months, even years. Sounds like magic, but 
How can she not remember them? That's the way it is. Well, her mama says to me that she's sending her to a holiday home they have somewhere on the outskirts. And that works really well for me, you know? No Stanley, no marriage, no memories. Just a fresh new apple, you know? Waiting for me, the lifesaver, to come and plug. <laughs> Maxwell the schema. You can say that again, man. <laughs> Look, here is to my upcoming wedding to the billionaire's daughter. Cheers, man. Now I understand what you meant. Well, I said to you, stick with me. Oh! I know where I'm going. <laughs> Just like a dream. How you doing? Right. You said on the phone something interesting happened. Is Maxo dead? Not yet. But something really interesting and fishy. Take a look at these pictures. Who are these people? I don't know. Maxwell killed the man and saved the girl. I don't know why. I can't make out a thing out of this. I followed him to the hospital where the girl is being treated. They said the girl's name is Selena. I followed her mother during one of her visits to her home. This is the address. There is something fishy about this whole thing. Maxwell killed the man and saved the girl. Could this be an act of rescue? I know Maxwell. I saw him strangle a dying man to death. I'll give him my best shot and see what I can find out. Good. your home. Everything you want and need, just as you want them, is inside. Hmm? But I, I don't remember here. Uh, you're my mom, right? Yes, I am your mother, my darling. Where is my father? How come he never came to look for me at the hospital? Does he hate me? You're... Um... <clears throat> um Alina... Your, your father died a long time ago. No. My father can't be dead. No. 
Look, Elena, there are so many things you cannot remember. Okay, and this is certainly one of them. Since your father's death, you have been the only source of joy and comfort for your mother. You have to consider the trauma she has been through. Don't break her spirit by bringing up the issue of your late father's death. I know it must have been hard for you. Even though I don't remember. It was. But you know, each time I look at you, I feel comfort and my tears dry up. I need you so much in my life, my darling. Elena, you are your mother's only source of strength. Promise her you'll never bring up your late father's issue. I promise, Mama. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Let's go inside, okay? You need time to rest okay. and recover. Okay. All right? Please, join us. Eh? thank you for handling the issue of her late father so well. I didn't know what to say. Um, I'm sure you always find the right words to say. Well, um, you know, she was about to get married and um, now her fiancé is no more. I don't know how to break the news to her. Well, like the doctor said, uh, I don't think she has to know. I mean, not yet. She's here to start a new life, you know, to begin a new chapter in her life. I must thank you for ensuring that you devoted your time towards her getting well. You saved her life. How can I ever repay you? Well, let's just... Um, you can, you can say I'm a good Samaritan. I'm sure if I was the one involved in that crash, you know, someone else would have done the same for me. Well, you must um, promise to come by from time to time to help me out here. I know that my enemies are laughing and mocking me by now, but uh, I don't care. I just need Elena to be well. Oh, she's okay. I mean, just take a look at her. She's getting better. Praise God. Well, you must join us for lunch. I insist. Hmm? Um, okay then, for Elena's sake, I will. Thank you. Just give me a minute, okay? said you saved my life. How did that happen? Mm. Well, it was a miracle. We happened to be traveling on the same bus and then we somersaulted into a ditch. Luckily, I was the first to come out. That's terrible. 
Did anyone die? Fortunately, no. But everyone thought you were dead because the boss was on fire. So I had to force my way in to pull you out. That was incredibly brave of you. I mean, you could have lost your own life. Well, I guess God wanted us all to leave. I couldn't have left you there. Um, finish your food, my love. You need to rest. And I have lots of relaxation activities planned for you. I just said to drop by and see how you and Elena are doing. Oh, she's doing well. We had a picnic the other day and, you know, she's beginning to make new friends. Mm. Mm -hmm. She did ask of you, though. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's good. In that case, I have to take her out. Oh, uh, yeah? Yes. I was actually in the neighborhood to do some things and I said, okay, why don't I come in? Hello, Mr. Maxwell. Mm -hmm. How are you? You've been so scarce. Look at you. You look quite trendy. Yes. Well, thank you. Yeah, I see you're getting stronger by the day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Cheers. Yes. Well, I don't know what your schedules are like. Um, I'm thinking, do you have time to go look around the city? Well, I've been indoors all day, so I might as well. Mm -hmm. Mom, do you think I should change? Oh, no, you're looking good like this. All right, let me go get my bag then. <laughs> by the time you two get back, I'll have lunch waiting for you. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> So how has business been? Well, here and there, okay. everything is okay. Alrighty, I believe we're set to go. <laughs> and you have a good day, okay? Family! And then we had 
an accident. And I woke up with the name was just in my head. Stanley, Stanley, Stanley. Mommy, Stanley. Stanley is. Uh, oh, I was told that that's the name of the driver that um, accidentally crashed the bus you were traveling with. Really? I don't know, but that name is just in my head. I don't know why. You need your your medication, okay? Here, put this pillow up here. Good. Let me go and get your medication, all right? To let me hit the pain. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually here to see the MD. I'm sorry, she's not at work right now. May I take no. a message? No, no, no. You have no idea when she'll be back? I have no idea. Oh, has she not been discharged from the hospital? I don't know. Okay. okay. Perhaps I should check maybe in a week's time. Okay, then. You are. Any news about the young man she was with during the accident? Stanley, her fiance. Yeah, Stanley. He died instantly. How cruel can the devil be? It's really sad, you know. I mean. To think that their wedding was just, just around the corner. I don't know. Well, I'll check back at the house. I was there earlier today and the gate man directed me to the office. Oh, okay. Okay then. So you have a nice day, sir. Thank you. What did you make out? The whole thing is confusing. How do you mean? For one, the girl Elena is the daughter and only child of Lechi from Bono, a former minister and a billionaire estate consultant. The girl inherited everything upon the man's death. You mean that girl inherited up to a billionaire? Can you say that again? She was set to marry the man Maxwell killed. Well, it's itching his way slowly. 
closer to the girl with an intention to marry her so that he can share in the video. Hmm? Yes, that could be it. <laughs> with standing out of the way, Maxwell stands a better chance. Well, Maxwell is in for a big surprise. We must find him. busy day today but everything is fine. <laughs> How have you been? I'm feeling much better. Okay but not as good as I want you to feel. How's your mom? She's fine. She went out to get something. Ah so you're at home all alone. How boring. Hmm? Is that something you want me to do to make your day special? Well I don't know. I mean I'm just at home loafing around watching TV. Okay, don't worry, all that will change, okay? I'll drive by your house to pick you up. I want to take you somewhere. Um, but my hair is all messed up, my nails aren't done. I'm just not feeling 100% right now. <laughs> don't worry, we'll get your hair done, okay? I'm coming over, see you soon. Okay, bye, see ya. drive. Well, so how did you say your day was? Oh, I had a wonderful day. 
We did lots of exciting things, didn't mm. we? Yeah, we did. Hmm. You're looking radiant. Oh, thank you, Mum. I also had a manicure and a facial, which has left me totally ravenous. Is there food? Of course there is. Go and get yourself something. I will. You want something to eat? Oh, thank you. Okay. Sure? Yeah. Okay. All right, see ya. Yeah. Driving lessons, Mr. Maxwell? She's not supposed to remember anything about her past. Well, the driving lesson only registered as a present memory for her. And she found it very amusing. Don't you think it would bring back memories of the accident? Oh, she sees cars every day. Besides, I don't think um, it would do her any harm if she starts driving again. Well, if you say so, um... Come to think of it, I, um, I haven't seen her this um, happy and thrilled since the accident. I must thank you. I'll be very glad to see her fully recovered. Yes. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, that reminds me. A friend of mine is having a dinner party today to celebrate a contract he just won, so... I'd like to take Elena with me as company. Hmm. Well, um, I don't think she'll be fit for that now, considering she's been out all day, you know? Well, I think it will, it will offer her an opportunity to mix and interact with people, new people. And I'll be with her all the time. Well, okay. Um, I'll leave her in your care. She's safe with me. Okay. Uh, can I get you something to drink? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, maybe water. Water? Don't be silly. I'll get you some wine, okay? Okay. the same thing, but I'll rather champagne. Okay. Thank you. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> this is a really nice place. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Come to think of it, you've been so nice to me and yet I hardly know anything about you. Well, you know, I've been out of the country for a long time, you know. In search of greener pastures. Of course. Hoping to come back someday and make my mother very happy. But then just as I was about actualizing that dream, she took ill and she died before I could be of any help. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Um, it's just that since then, you know, I've hated money. I said to hell with it. I'd rather die than deny people the help they need. 
So when I saw you in that crash, you know, looking all so helpless and everyone had given up hope on you, I said, no way. I won't let you die, even if it means me dying. Wow. You've been... I mean, you risked everything. Even your own life. And you've been there for me ever since. How do I ever thank you? Well, you don't have to. I think it's destiny that has brought us together. Yeah. Meeting you has dried the tears that I've cried since my mother's death. I don't want to let you go. Anyway, at least now I know more about you and your feelings for me. So, I don't feel so empty anymore. Will you marry me, Elena? What? Marry me and make my life complete. I... I don't know what to say. I mean... You don't have to say anything. Just promise me you think about it. I promise. Okay. Yes, sir. How was your acting? It was fun. I had a good time. Yeah. Mom, did you know that um, Maxwell lost his mother, just like I lost Dad? Really? No. Why? Oh, nothing. It's just another thing we have in common, I guess. And he said he's in love with me. In love with you? Even proposed. Maxwell proposed to you? Yep. <laughs> you don't seem very excited though. Uh, I'm just thinking. Um, why don't you just go in and change, okay? Go in and change. Yeah, I need to get out of this. Yeah, Stop it. Good night, Mama. Good idea. I'm sorry to have to take you off your schedule for today, but this is important. Yes, the urgency in your voice. I hope Elena is okay. Yes, she's okay. Uh, sit down. She went out with the maid. Elena told me you proposed marriage to her. Yes, I did. But, but I did that from the deepest part of my soul. I really do love her. 
My daughter is just recovering from a sad incident that almost took her life. I brought her here to get away from it all. Now you want to take her back there? No, it's not true. She doesn't know who she is. No memory, not the slightest ability to make decisions for herself. Do not take advantage of that situation. No, I won't. I do love her. And I think what she needs now is a new future to be written for her. And I want to be a part of it. Her marriage to Stanley was um, a month away before the accident. She had nightmares about it once. Now, you, you want to bring up issues of marriage to her? No, I, I think what Elena needs now is a new life, a new history, a new beginning. I mean, she cannot just sit down and wait for her, for her past to come back and, and drive her insane or probably kill her. How do you know or how can you decide what my daughter needs? I love her. And I care about her. I know what she has been through. And I can take care of her. I know the burden that she carries and I want to share in that burden. I, I don't want her to fall into the hands of some stranger who doesn't know what she has been through or where she's coming from. that has brought me to her to save her life and to care for her for the rest of my life. Please let it be. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Get up. I'll speak to my daughter first. And, um, I need time to think things through. She's very fragile at the moment and uh, I need her to be stronger before moving to another level. It's okay, Mom. I'm not in a hurry. I'll wait.
Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, Matt. I want to know what's going on with this boy that you sent to me. I'm Cletus or whatever his name is. Is there any problem? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my God! What of this? Who else knows about this besides you and I? He took these pictures. Now he's trying to blackmail me! For what? You tell your guy he doesn't know who I am. He does not know me. This can't be. This... from you, Cletus, are the negatives. I, I don't know what you're talking about. The pictures you took at the crash site. Look, all I did was just my job, and that was all. Danny, why are you doing this to me, Danny? Why? Cletus. I trusted you. I gave you a job and I paid you well. And all you could do is to turn around and bite me at the back. You think you can blackmail me? Huh? You think you can blackmail me with your stupid pictures? You think you can ruin my plans? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Neither will anybody else. But don't be a fool, Cletus, okay? I am giving you a chance to leave. So I'm asking you for the last time. Where are those negatives? Uh, I swear. I, I swear I don't know anything about it. Uh. You know, it looks to me like you're not walking alone. Uh. Where are you walking with? Uh. Huh? Who put you up to this? Who are you oh. walking with? Oh. This will serve as a message to the rest of your gang. Oh, no. You tried, Cletus, but you lost. Open your mouth, Daniel. Please don't do this to me. Open it. Open it. Open it. Why? 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 
Semika, yes. you have a visitor. A visitor? Yes. Who is it? Miss Alina. Oh, Alina. Mm -hmm. uh, where is she? She's right in your office. Oh, um, nurse, please take this uh, report to the medical director's office. Tell him I'll be with him very soon. Okay. I'll join you right away. Okay. Concerns about my health. Your health? Are you having any difficulties? I keep having these recurring nightmares, and I was wondering if you could take me to the crash site. The crash site? Um, there is absolutely nothing there to see. I mean, the car has been removed. Uh, do you know anyone by the name Stanley in relation to the accident? Because that's the name I keep hearing in my nightmares. I'm happy that you're catching up very fast. And um, I think it's about time we let you into some of your past. So you know who he is? Well, according to your mother, Stanley was your fiancé. And um, you were both in the car when the accident occurred. But unfortunately, um, he didn't make it. But I thought I had the accident in a bus. Oh no, it wasn't a bus. 
But you don't have to bother anyway. You survived all the same. Yes. It is a car my paramedics saw when they went for the rescue. This is all in the past now, okay? You don't have to believe whatever anybody may have told you. Including the doctor that treated me? The doctor that sent paramedics to the crash site to save Stanley? Stanley, my fiancé! And you knew! Look, Elena, no. Oh, don't touch me! And you want me to spend the rest of my life with you? And you know something like this and hide it from me. And deceive me in this way. Look, Elena, it was just a lie of convenience. Okay? I only lied to protect you. Protect you from the truth that may have hurt you. That truth is what would set me free. I had to find out the hard way that I had a man that I loved. That I wanted to marry. I don't. I don't believe. Elena, Elena, wait, wait. I'm sorry, but I have to find out who Stanley is. Of course. And then I have to find out who you really are. Elena, please. Elena. Look, let, let me explain this, okay? Please. Is Alina okay? She, she found out about Stanley. Stanley? How come? I don't know. I guess she, she must have spoken with the doctor. Where is she? Said 
that it is best not to remind you of your past because of your amnesia. My emotional life is not my past. It's my present and my future that I need to hold on to. When was I supposed to find out about Stanley? When I was already married to Maxwell? I'm sorry you had to find out this way. I have to find out more. I want to know everything. Who am I? Am I in school? Uh, uh, do I have a job? I mean, what, what am I? Listen, all you need to concern yourself with now is your health. You need to get well first, okay? How can I be well if I don't know who I am? I feel, I feel like a fool that's just loafing around with no identity. And you need to tell me. I mean, did I kill my father? God, no, no. Don't, don't say such things. Your father died after an illness. He was proud of you. Then, tell me who I am, Mom. I need to know. I can take it, honestly. Please. Celestina, I thought you were in Germany. No. I left Germany immediately. You were imprisoned. You were lucky. How did they release you? I'm sure that's not what brought you here, Celestina. With Kelvin dead. What else would I want to talk about? Anyway, that's an issue for another time. No, it is not, Celestina. You and Kelvin betrayed me and stole my money. Old story, Maxwell. Let's get down to the present.
demand for 50 million naira to be paid to me in two installments. You must be out of your mind. Where am I supposed to get that kind of money? I know you, Maxwell. You are a smart guy. You can skim your way into the girl's family account and... Come on, smile. <laughs> You're a dead man, Celeste. I assure you. No. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. I'll be back. Remember Margaret, your secretary? I will. Soon. Could we um, have the key of the office? Graduation, you worked here with your father, and when he departed, you took over. I stepped into my father's shoes? Yes, you did. And you did me proud. See, I am the chairman of this company, and you are the executive director. 
mother and daughter together. Let's go sit on your chair. Can you meet me at the corner of Johnson Street now? No, no, no. Second turning by your right. Yes. Guess what? I just saw Celestia. Yes. Come right away. This is important. No, I'm right there waiting for you. Okay, then. See you soon. Right. Sent before the accident. Yes. You knew Maxwell before the accident? I don't know. I, I don't know. Margaret! Margaret! Yes, ma'am. Do you know who sent this and when? Oh, it was brought in by a delivery man from Blue Star Courier Service. Mm. I signed for it and brought it to you here in the office. Oh, yes, yes. When? When was it sent? Um, I can't remember exactly but that would be about two weeks before the accident, I think. Thank you. So Maxwell knew me before the accident. He told me that he was on his way to the airport when he saw your car crash. He lied. I don't know what to believe about him anymore.
Yes, yeah, sweet girl. It's me, your baby. I think I would like to see you here at this time. Elena, I understand how you feel. No, you don't. You've been lying to me from day one. Look at this. Didn't you send that to me before the crash? Okay, Elena, yes, I lied to you. I lied to you, but what were you expecting? The truth? I could not tell you the truth considering your situation. What situation? Look, Alina, I love you so much. But you favored another man. 
And then I, I just cried and prayed and waited, hoping that the genuineness of the love that I have for you will make you see the truth. The truth? What truth? The truth about Stanley and I. What on earth are you talking about? I we were in love, you and I. I loved you so much, but you chose another man because your father favored him. I tried everything that I could to win you back, everything, including sending you this card. But I wasn't favored because I was a nobody. The night you left with Stanley, he came in very drunk and reckless. You actually warned him in my presence. In your presence? How? Well, I had come to see you, um, and so had he. And he was very tipsy. And then you told me off and left with him in his car. I was confused. I, I just didn't know what I was doing, so I followed you. I drove behind you. And as fate will have it, I saved your life. The life that Stanley would have wasted recklessly. Then why didn't you tell me all this before? I couldn't, Elena. I couldn't. I mean, the doctor said that for your own safety, it was better not to bring up the past. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I ever lied to you. Your health was critical at the time. And it hurt me. I cried. I cried so much. Praying. Waiting for the right moment. And then you recovered quicker than I thought. Look, I need some time alone. So much is happening so fast. I need to clear my head. I need to sort things out. Oh, God. I understand, Elena. Okay. I just want you to know that I love you deeply. No matter what happens. But most importantly, I care about your safety. I just told you the truth. No, Maxwell was here. Maxwell? What did he want? He... He was telling me certain things. Certain things? Like... Um, like what? Um, did Dad know Stanley? Yes, I told you Stanley's mother and I are such good friends. Um, unfortunately, she had to go out of the country because of Stanley's death. You know how it, it dealt her a bad blow. Why? Don't worry, Mom. It's okay. Um, these just came in. Yeah, they're from the foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some bills. Excuse me. I'm not here to see you. But I thought I told you I didn't want to see anybody. Mm. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, but he insists because he says he has a package that must specially be delivered to you. All right. Send him one.
Good day, madam. Good day, miss. You have a package for delivery? Yes, for Miss Elena Bon. Yeah, that will be me. Thank you. Okay. Um, excuse me. Who is this from? It's from um, a certain Mr. Celestine. He said it must get to you if you are, if I don't see him by noon today and he doesn't call. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me see that. Oh my God. So Maxwell killed Stanley. He had the effort to come here and lie to me. We must get to the police at once. Uh, I, I thought I saw a note somewhere. Let me see that. Maxwell killed Stanley to defraud you. Oh, I have to go to the police. Can we have the I suppose. Yes, can I help you? Detective Phillips from Force Records. You're under arrest. Arrest? For what? When we get to the station, you will know. Coffin. Coffin? No, no, officer, you have to explain to me what's Please. going on. Please don't attempt to resist arrest. Officer, let's just go somewhere and talk over this. No, officer, at least let me know what is going on. I'm sure there's a mistake somewhere, officer. Please. Huh? Saved your life. Yeah. What, was it a crime to be a Samaritan? Really? Okay. Now, um, could you just help me take a quick look at these? What are those? Maxwell. Hmm. How, did, how did you get this? Who gave this to you? The question is, what were you doing with the man? It appears to me you struggled him to death. No, officer, that is not true. Okay? I was, just, I was just trying to help them out. You killed Stanley! You killed him, Maxwell. And only God in heaven knows why you did that, but for whatever reason, I don't ever, ever want to see you. And to think that I was going to say I do to you. Come on, Elena, do say that. There, there, there's something wrong. Yeah. Look, Elena, there must be a misunderstanding somewhere. There's no misunderstanding. Officer, 
Thank you very much. We would like to leave now. Hmm? My daughter is not feeling very well. And I never want to set my eyes on this murder again. We shall keep you posted, madam. Okay. Uh, for now, we have ordered a full autopsy to be carried out on the corpse of late Mr. Stanley. Meanwhile, you two criminals will remain in the custody. Thank you. Thank you. Let's and, and here, you two are two men. Officer, officer, I know there's a mistake somewhere. Okay? Take that away. Officer, there's something wrong somewhere. I need to. And no, please don't get out of here. This, this is not right. I was just trying to help her. Officer, officer, I know that we'll get to the bottom of this, okay?